Hi, it's Pat Ham, and I'm back again with Shift Z, my favorite reason shortcut in the reason sequencer. So, just as a quick reminder of what Shift Z does, if you select something, and it doesn't matter what it is, so here, for example, I've got some audio clips. If I press Shift and Z together, it zooms those audio clips to fill my entire window. Uh, I find this incredibly useful. I went off about it on my other video about this, but I've recently discovered some cool things that Shift Z does. As I pointed out, Shift Z, whatever your selection is, here I've got MIDI, for example. If you select it, Shift Z zooms into those MIDI clips. But it goes even further than that. Because let's say, for example, I want to look just at this audio file. I shift Z to have it fill the whole screen. Usually what we do when we're editing audio is we use one of these editing options up here. For example, slice edit mode. So I'll double click on the clip to enter slice edit mode. And actually it's not specifically slice edit mode. This will zoom into whatever the last editing state was that you had for that clip. So for example, now that I have it selected, if I click on pitch edit, now I'm in pitch edit mode. If I click on Shift Z right now, it'll zoom the whole clip to the window just as I have been demonstrating. Now if I go out of this clip, now we can see down here at the bottom right, this is a little indicator of what the last edit mode was for this clip. So if I double click it, it will now go into pitch edit mode. But let's say, for example, I want to go to slice edit mode. Let's start with slice edit. Another cool thing about Shift Z is I can select edit points and Shift Z zooms to those edit points. So Shift Z is actually even more useful than I originally thought. It goes a lot further than just zooming into the clips that you have selected. It can go into the individual elements of those clips. So let's go out of this clip and go into pitch edit mode. So now I'm in pitch edit mode. The clip is selected. So Shift Z fills the available space on the screen for me. But what I, as you might have guessed, based on the slice edit behavior, if I select just a little bit of this clip and select Shift Z, it zooms that whole area. So I know I already talked about Shift Z. I'm sorry that I'm going over the same exact shortcut again, but I thought it was very helpful when I discovered that Shift Z goes even farther than I originally thought. So you can use Shift C to zoom into your selected clips, whatever clips they may be, or within those clips, you can zoom into various portions of your slice edits. Or if you're in pitch edit mode, various sections of your clip based on these little pitch clips. One thing worth noting, perhaps, is this appears to not have any effect when we are talking about comp editing. So for example, I can select these two points using Shift. Let's select this one as well. What does Shift Z do now? Nothing. So it appears that this is not something that is of use to us in comp edit mode, but I find it very useful in slice edit and pitch edit mode. So again, hopefully you found that useful. Please let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll talk to you in the next one.